Is there a woman you're deeply in love with, but you just got rejected by her? Then I made this video just for you. I'm about to share with you a hack you can use to recover from rejection, and it won't matter how heartbroken you might feel right now. And trust me, I know how you feel. Getting rejected by her or any other woman sucks, period. It's not just a failed attempt that you can quickly recover from. It's a real blow to your manhood, like you failed as a man because of it. So on one hand, I know the pain you feel. On the other hand, I must tell you about the danger you're in. If you can't recover from rejection fast, you'll turn into a bitter, spiteful guy who will never be happy in life. Let's make sure that doesn't happen, eh? I'm about to show you a technique called the pedestal switch. It's the fastest way to recover from rejection. And that's not all. Pedestal switching will also make sure you never feel the sting of rejection again. Does that sound too good to be true? If so, then you're in for an eye-opening, life-changing experience in this video. Before we get to the good stuff, do take a moment to click the like button below. Just one click like, and then we'll get right into pedestal switching and how it will turn your life around today. Are you ready for it? Then click like right now, and let's move right on. Go ahead. Done? Awesome. So let me tell you about the pedestal switch technique. It was first taught to me by Derek Rake. He's an attraction coach for men and an expert in female dating psychology. Derek teaches men how to lead relationships not with pickup tricks, but with science. And one of his most important lessons happens to be about pedestalizing. Here's what that's about. Pedestalizing means putting a woman you like on an imaginary pedestal in your life. It's as if you see her as some goddess to be worshipped and pleased, or some prize to work hard for and win. Are you guilty of pedestalizing? Here are some common signs that you are. Maybe you can't stop thinking of new ways to please a woman or make her laugh. Or when she needs something, you drop everything you're doing to help her. Or when she asks you to stop doing something you love, you do it right away. Or when you make sure you never offend her or make her angry. If any of these sound like your behavior around women, then yes, you're pedestalizing. And guess what? It's the reason why you get rejected by women so easily and so often. Why? Pedestalizing women makes you look weak, submissive, and a slave to your emotions. It's like she's your queen and you're her slave. That's the dynamic you put into play when you pedestalize a woman. Think about it. Do queens fall in love with slaves? Nope. In fact, when a slave tries to make a move on a queen, he'd probably get thrown in the dungeon. If getting rejected feels like being thrown in the dungeon to you, well, now you know why. What do you think? Do you agree that pedestalizing naturally leads to rejection? Comment yes or no below so I'll know what you think. In any case, here's the solution. You need to pedestal switch. That is, you got to make it so that you never put women on a pedestal. Instead, you put yourself on a pedestal. That is, you put your happiness, your needs, your goals and dreams, your purpose or mission in life. All that comes first. And women, dating, sex, and relationships, they're all a distant second for you. That way, you do the rejecting. Women either tag along with you for the ride of a lifetime, or they step aside, making way for a better woman to walk into your life. That's the kind of dynamic your relationships should have. Sounds good, right? There's just one problem, though. Pedestal switching is a huge mindset shift. And that means it might take a long time to do, especially if you've been a nice guy for most of your life. So here's what I suggest. Use a shortcut. To be specific, use a technique to pedestal switch in an instant, and it's called the TBD sequence. I'll show you how to use it right after you click the subscribe button below. If you learned something new in this video so far, then do consider subscribing to my channel you'll get more science-based dating advice that will change your love life for good. And it all starts today when you start pedestalizing yourself with the TBD sequence. Are you ready to learn all about it? Then click subscribe right now, and we'll move right on. Go ahead, do it now. Have you subscribed? Great, welcome to the club. So here's how the TBD sequence works. TBD stands for That's Boyfriend Duty. And that's pretty much it. It's that simple. 
That's boyfriend duty is the simple line you say when a woman tries to treat you like a slave. For instance, let's say you're trying to get with a woman you just met. Things are going well, although you can sense she's hesitating to get romantic with you. Like she's playing hard to get, which is normal. And then suddenly, out of the blue, she asks for a favor. She calls you and says her car broke down and she needs you to give her a ride. This time, you don't pedestalize her. You don't drop what you're doing to help her. Instead, you tell her, nah, that's boyfriend duty. Or let's say she asks you to lend her money. You then tell her, are you serious? That's boyfriend duty. Or let's say she wants you to take her to a party or concert you don't care for. You tell her, ask your boyfriend. That's boyfriend duty. You see how it works? When you use this technique, one of two things will happen. Either she gets offended and leaves in a huff, saying something like, okay, maybe I will, which is a good thing. You've successfully weeded out a manipulator from your dating rotation. Or something else might happen, a pedestal switch. That is, she stops trying to manipulate you and instead starts qualifying herself to you. She might say something like, what? Hey, please, I'll do anything. Or she might laugh, play along, say something like, what? But I thought you were my boyfriend. To which you might retort, what? Me? We've never even slept together. Not even third base. What are you talking about? That's what an instantaneous pedestal switch looks like. It's beautiful when you realize she's trying to win you over instead of the other way around. Try the TBD sequence out sometime. You'll be surprised at how quickly your love life will change. Now, here's a spoiler alert. When she starts showing signs of attraction, you'll need to switch to a different approach. Now, you'll need to capitalize on her attraction. If you don't, she'll lose interest in you very quickly. And not only that, now she'll hate you too because she'll feel like you played her like a fool. So what should you do now? The next technique I'll introduce you to will turn her growing attraction into addiction. And it's all you'll need to start a relationship that will be strong, happy, and exciting for a lifetime. So what's this technique? It's called fractionation. And long story short, it's a storytelling technique that makes her feel more and more addicted to you over time. Yup, not just attracted or seduced. She'll be totally addicted to you. She'll do whatever it takes to keep you. Fractionation is the secret ingredient in today's happiest and most successful relationships. And you're about to learn it now. At the end of this video, a link will pop up. When you see it, click on it. It will take you to a special online masterclass on mind control hosted by Derek Rake. If you'll recall, Derek's the guy behind everything I'm teaching you now. In this masterclass, he'll teach you all about fractionation, what it is, how it works, and how to start using it today. Combined with the TBD sequence, you won't just recover from your past rejections. You'll also flip the script and start doing the rejecting yourself. So, are you ready to finally be in control of your love life? Want to start making women qualify themselves to you instead of the other way around? And are you ready to change your life right now? Then go ahead, click the link, and join Derek's online masterclass right now. I'll see you there.